Dear friends, welcome back to these uh, three short videos. Uh, in this video, I will be talking about uh, social distancing and uh, a good practice that we all need, and that, that is the, the practice of solitude. The time of social distancing that has come about through the uh, COVID uh, restrictions uh, can be a good time for in, uh, individual and family growth. Uh, it can be a time of solitude and personal renewal. So I'd like to speak about solitude. So what is this? What is solitude? Like isolation and lockdown, uh, these are new words that has, the pandemic uh, has brought about. Solitude is also a word that COVID-19 has brought closer to us. So basically, solitude is being alone. It is the absence of uh, distractions like people, computers, social gathering, cover or alcohol parties, schoolwork, television, cell phones, etc. Uh, solitude can be getting away from everybody in a weekend retreat or just uh, locking yourself in your room for an hour in peaceful quiet. The reason solitude is a spiritual discipline is that alone time or isolation can often be a more difficult task than we think. It takes an effort to be sure that you are not disturbed. Why is this solitude important? Now, human beings, we, we travel many journeys. We travel overseas, we travel to far distant countries, and even people have traveled to the moon. And one thing the uh, COVID-19 has done is limit these journeys. But the shortest journey and the journey that not a lot of people don't take is the journey to ourselves, the journey to our inside, to the center of our being. And this is even truer in our contemporary world where we are filled with so many distractions. We are in many places, but not at home with ourselves. So in solitude, we are at home. We are closer to God. And when we are close to God, we find our deepest identity. People suffer from identity crisis because they are never at home and not with God. And so when we are in solitude, we begin to see things going on in our lives, our joys and challenges and struggles, uh, we begin to see them clearly because we see them through the eyes of God. We look at what is important in our lives and uh, we begin to experience peace. The peace that we can't get when we are surrounded by many people. And, and the distractions that come to our lives. Uh, it allows us to let go and take the stress off our day. I want to tell and recall the confession of a great saint and a great theologian in the Catholic uh, and the Christian tradition. Uh, his name is Saint Augustine. Saint Augustine uh, began to search for this fulfillment and peace in life in the world outside, but he did not find it. And after a long search, he found peace in God, in his self, in solitude. So I'd like to just read a very brief part of his confession. And this is what St. Augustine said, quoting, Late have I loved you, O beauty ever old, ever knew. Late have I loved you. You were within me and I was outside myself. 
And it was there that I sought you and myself disfigured. I rushed upon the beautiful things you have made. You were with me, but I was not with you. They held me far from you, those things which would not exist if they did not exist in you. You called, you cried out, and you broke through my deafness. You shone out, cast your radiance, and put my blindness to flight. You shared your fragrance, and I drew breath and pined for you. I tasted you, so I hunger and thirst for you. You touched me, and I burn with love of your greatness. <laughs>